everybody, if you've been struggling with the driver, it might not be all you, meaning it's not always the archer, sometimes it is the arrow. And if you have modified your loft and or the length, that could be the lead determinant in what's causing you to struggle. And today I'm gonna to show you how to make sure that doesn't happen to you. So as you can see right here, I have a standard driver today. This is what most manufacturers are doing. They're building drivers longer. This one is just a little bit over 45 and a half inches. And one of the reasons that they do that is to allow them to market that you can hit this driver 15 yards longer, which in the one out of let's say 40 or 50 or 60 that you are able to time correctly and hit in the center of the face or very close to it, you can and will get that 15 to 20 extra yards. But on the whole and throughout the, the, the course of your round or your month or your season or your year, the ability for you to do that is going to be um, significantly decreased unless you have a lot of time to, and effort and energy to dedicate to practice. But keep this in mind that the best players in the world have all of those things, uh, time, dedication to practice and everything else, yet they still play drivers that are under 45 inches in length. In fact, the last number I heard on average length on the PGA Tour was running between 44 and a half and 44 and three quarters. So if the best players in the world are using drivers under 45 inches, you gotta ask yourself why you and all your friends are using drivers at 45 and a half, 46 or longer. Okay, now here's a couple things that you need to remember. If you do have a driver that's longer, let's say you have a driver that's 46 inches and you cut that down to 44 and a half, what you're going to have to do to get the very similar launch conditions, uh, the launch angle, how much spin, um, all those other good things that, that technology has showed us to improve your ability to, to hit the ball longer is if you're shortening your driver, you have to add loft. And that's simply because as we make our swings, if, I, if this driver is 45 and a half, it has a certain arc and it's going to, just the lever being longer is going to cause me to come in on a much uh, more shallow plane, okay? If I shorten this club, let's say I grip all the way down to the bottom of the grip, I have to get closer, and when I get closer, my swing naturally becomes more upright, which means I'm going to be coming more down on the ball. If you're more down and descending on the ball, then you're going to have to have more loft to get the same launch conditions. Okay, so if you go shorter in driver length to let's say 44 and 3 quarters from 45 and 3 quarters, you're going to have to make sure that you adjust the loft to more let's say from nine and a half to 10 and a half degrees to get similar launch conditions. Now, many people will think or, or saying, you might be saying to yourself, well, if I shorten my driver, I'm gonna hit the ball shorter. That's not necessarily true. On a shorter driver, you're gonna hit the ball closer to center. And the last numbers that I saw through all the hard data and empirical testing that was done many years ago was every uh, quarter inch that you miss the center of the face in your driver, you're gonna lose up to um, two to 3% of your distance. So based off how long you hit your driver, you can do that calculation at home. If by chance you have a driver that's short and you want to go to a driver that's longer, let's say that you're going to a golf course that is more wide open or more link style, and you just want to have some fun with it, if you extend your driver out from what you're used to, let's say you're at 44 and a half and you want to go to 46, well again, you have a much flatter plane, you're going to be much more shallow into the ball, which means uh, the ball is going to launch higher, so you're going to want to decrease the loft. So if we go back to your standard driver was nine and a half, you're gonna to wanna to go down to maybe eight and a half or a little bit lower, depending on how long you make your driver. So remember, if you're having trouble with your driver and it's new or it, you've just, you've been searching and trying to find one, it's always better to have a little bit shorter, 44 and a half to 44 and three quarters. When you do that, you have to make sure that the loft goes up Let's say nine and a half to ten and a half or ten and a half to eleven and a half. Those are going to allow you to hit the ball closer to center, maintain the same great launch conditions, and get a heck of a lot more out of your game. So I hope you like this video. If so, please post a comment down below. You can always click subscribe right here. And as always, thank you for watching another one of our videos.